The vast majority of people who use sunscreens won't have any reaction to them. But there are a small group of people that do have reactions to sunscreens, but these are also people who can have reactions to moisturisers, shampoos, and even things like nickel and cobalt. The most common reactions people can have from sunscreens are these irritant contact dermatitis. This is characterised by some irritation, some stinging, even a burning type sensation of the skin, and maybe some mild redness. But that goes away when you take the product off the skin. A little bit less common is this thing called allergic contact dermatitis. And that's actually an allergy to a specific ingredient within the product that you're using. And there you react specifically in a very st a stronger sort of eczema type of reaction, where you have a lot more red skin, a lot more itchy, and it's much more widespread. The allergic contact dermatitis reaction usually happens within a 24 to 48 hour period, even sometimes longer, depending on the concentration and the type of chemical that you've developed the allergy to. More rarely, people can also react specifically to the sunscreen active ingredient. When you initially put it on your skin, there's no problems at all. But when you go out and expose that product, that sunscreen, to UV light, there's a change in the chemical compound or structure of that either preservative, fragrance, or the active ingredient of the sunscreen, which means that's what you develop the reaction to. People often go, well, I can't be allergic to that because I've used that product for years. Unfortunately, this is exactly what happens. You develop this allergy to that specific active ingredient or preservative in that cream that you've been using for years. And it comes on over time, it might be months and it might be years after you've been using it for a long period of time. In the vast majority of times, you know, skin-based reactions, such as allergic contact dermatitis, are not life-threatening, but they're itchy and they certainly give you a lot of frustration. One of the important things you have to remember to do when, if you do yourself have a reaction to sunscreen or your child has a reaction to a sunscreen, is try and get the sunscreen off your skin, cool the skin down with lots of moisturiser, avoid soap when you're washing and get a soap-free wash instead because soap can be irritating in that scenario and extra drying on the skin. You can use of lots of moisturiser helps the recovery of the skin and sometimes with your general practitioner or your dermatologist, we may use topical corticosteroids or other anti-inflammatories to settle that reaction down. So there are two different ways you can test whether you have an allergy to a specific ingredient or, or product of a sunscreen product or a moisturiser. And that's either what's called a repeat open application test, which you can do at home. And what you do is apply a small amount of that product on the inner aspect of your arm twice a day for a two week period. The alternative is having a referral to your dermatologist who can perform a more complicated but more rigorous approach called patch testing which will test you against a range of different ingredients so you can actually drill down to know what the single thing you're reacting to is. People with a history of eczema or sensitive skin may find it a challenge to find the right sunscreen product for them. The sunscreens that contain zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are generally uh, marketed towards people with sensitive skin because they have less sort of allergy or irritant type effects. But, like any product, they still have preservatives and other ingredients in through them. So it's important to check that packaging to make sure it's something that, if you have a known allergy to, you can avoid it.